Welcome to Excel in a minute. In this lesson, let's learn about Excel's Scenario Manager feature. But first, let's define what a scenario is. A scenario is a group of values that you can save, and Excel can substitute it automatically on your worksheet. And with Scenario Manager, you can create and save sets of values, then switch between any set to view the changes in the result. To better understand how Scenario Manager works, let's create scenarios for this fuel cost calculator. As shown in this table, the calculator runs with this formula. Now, let's find the total fuel cost for 500 kilometers if the fuel price is $3 per liter and the fuel efficiency of the car is 5 liters per 100 kilometers. And you get $75. Now, let's say you want to know the fuel cost if the price drops or surges for the same distance. To do that, go to the Data tab, click the What If Analysis button, and select Scenario Manager. As you can see, we have three fields, Scenario, changing cells, and comment. And the buttons, add and merge. The add button is for creating new scenarios, while the merge button is for merging existing scenarios from different worksheets. But for this lesson, we will use the add button to create scenarios for the current price, price drop, and price surge. For the first scenario, let's call it fuel cost today and select cell D8 as the changing cell since it contains the price value today that is $3. Click OK. Then enter a value for cell D8, but since this is the scenario to be compared with the two scenarios, let's leave this step as it is. For the second scenario let's name it price drop and set the price value to $2. And for the third scenario, let's call it price hike and set the price to $10. Take note that in the comments section you can add a description for each scenario. And finally, test out and compare the scenarios by clicking the Show button. But wait, there's more to this feature. Click the Summary button and set cell D10 as the value for the result field. You may also add a scenario summary or pivot table. However, if you made changes to your scenario, the scenario summary or pivot table won't update automatically, so you must generate a new one. And that wraps up this lesson. Create scenarios for your data and get a better understanding about it. Thank you for your time. We hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more Excel in a minute. You may also check out the link below to download the presentation. We hope to see you in the next lesson.